Good morning, church. This is a little bit different way of doing things, but hopefully it's going to work out for us. I'm going to start out this morning by telling you a story. Chicken Little likes to walk in the woods. She likes to look at the trees. She likes to smile, smell the flowers, listen to the birds singing. But one day while she's walking, an acorn falls from a tree and hits the top of her little head. My oh my, the sky is falling. I must run and tell the king, says Chicken Little, and she begins to run. She runs and runs, and by and by she meets a hen. Where are you going, asks the hen. Oh, Henny Penny, the sky is falling, and I'm going to tell the king about it. How do you know it, asks Henny Penny. Well, it hit me on the head, so I know it must be so, says Chicken Little. Let me go with you, says Henny Penny. Run, run. So the two run until they meet Ducky Lucky. The sky is falling, says Henny Penny. We're going to tell the king. How do you know it's falling? asked Ducky Lucky. It hit Chicken Little on the head, said Henny Penny. May I come with you? asked Ducky Lucky. Come, said Henny Penny. So all three of them run on and on until they meet Foxy Loxy. Where are you going? asked Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling. We're going to tell the king about it, said Ducky Lucky. Do you know where he lives? asked the fox. I don't, said Chicken Little. I don't, said Henny Penny. And I don't, said Ducky Lucky. I do, said Foxy Loxy. Come with me and I can show you the way. He walks on and on until he comes to his den. Come right in, said Foxy Loxy. They all go in, but they never, ever come out. Good morning, church. <laughs> I started there for a reason. And please bear with me, is this the first time that I'm doing this recorded format and it just feels a little bit unnatural. And don't misunderstand me telling the story this morning. I'm not making light of our situation. I'm not saying that we shouldn't follow the recommendations of our leaders and the medical experts. I am, however, saying that we, especially we as Christians, need to focus ourselves on the one who has the answers. He has the cure, he can stop the spread, and thankfully in him we can find peace as the world around us spins out of control. Don't focus on panic, worry, getting dragged into the frenzy that's been created and stirred up by others. Others like Chicken Little. It seems like every day there's something, a new peril, a new flu, a new virus, this COVID-19 in particular. We've dealt with others. We've dealt with Ebola. we dealt with SARS. we dealt with the swine flu. And what about all the natural disasters, the floods, the earthquakes, the recent tornadoes, tsunamis, wildfires, not to mention recession, moral breakdown in America, abortion rights, even the threat of terror attacks, and our own personal battles, whether it be relationships, physical health, our demons that we face, our personal finances. These are unsettling times. And we can feel helpless, hopeless, desperate. But this morning, I want us to stop. Just stop. Don't add to the hysteria like Chicken Little. Find your peace, and that peace is in Christ the Lord.